In Kazakhstan, the craft developed over the centuries, leaving a legacy of unique products of artisans, amazing wealth of artistic imagination, and the perfection of form. A respect for one's heritage, traditional cultural values, these are the main tasks of the current generation. is a record of creative research and the discoveries of folk artists. The art of the Kazakh people, their national traits and traditions, were formed and perfected for centuries. Folk art stores in itself a historical memory and national heritage. Masters of folk art have bit by bit collected and continue to collect the experience of previous generations, multiplying them and transferring their skills from one generation to the next. Continuing to exist in modern society, changing the types and ways of its existence, national crafts remain one of the forms of preserving traditional Kazakh culture. So the talent of the Kazakh people, their tastes and sense of beauty, allowed to create unique works of art and crafts. Traditions of which are alive, developed, and perfected by modern woodcarvers. Wood processing refers to one of the most ancient types of human activity. Wood is a durable, light, and beautiful material. At first, wooden objects were created for practical purposes and used in everyday life. But over time, when a person improved his skills, things began to acquire other more aesthetic values, and each such subject was evaluated first in terms of beauty and usefulness. Wood is easy to process, diverse in texture, color, and durable in use, which allows the carver to express himself artistically and to create unique products. of the ancient masters were lost through centuries, but tradition remains as they were passed down from generation to generation. And thanks to the self-taught masters, these traditions are still alive. In our program, we will talk about an incredible talented master who created unique panels with his own hands. Perhaps we will even be able to disclose the secrets of his creativity and mastery. While touching the creativity of the masters, one involuntarily develops a sense of grace and beauty in yourself. With products in which Bolat Atamkulov has invested himself completely, the master opens and shares his creative potential with people. Developing folk traditions, he creatively reinterprets them and constantly improves upon them. So the centuries-old history of the development of the original features of Kazakh carving continues. People call masters such as Bolat Atamkulov the master of golden hands and this is actually corresponding to the truth. Bolat Atamkulov has been engaged in creative work since 1985. He is a laureate and a regular participant of the Republican and International Exhibitions, 
He also has participated in competitions and festivals. The professor of the Han Shan University and a member of the Union of Artists and Craftsmen of Kazakhstan. The master owns not only various methods of wood carving, but also techniques associated with the process of metal, natural stone, and paint. His work differs in their proximity to the ancient folk art, as evidenced by the laconic form, contrasting combinations and the technique itself. The master's workshop is flooded with daylight, and despite the large number of instruments, it seems spacious and cozy. The arrangement of the workshop is an important fact, since everything begins with it. When working with wood, it is necessary to comply with the temperature regime, and the humidity level should also be constant as sharp fluctuations adversely affect the quality of the material and the carvings performed. The master has shared with us, telling that often the idea for the future panel is prompted by nature itself. The tree always remains a living material, and the master looks closely at himself. He feels it, and even seems to hear how the tree tells him something. At these moments, often the birth of an idea or image occurs. It is difficult to convey in words because sometimes they suddenly arise in your head and only after a while can you fully understand what was a starting point from which this creativity began. Often this is very painful, literally akin to a disease. Sometimes everything happens simply and easily. You saw a cut of a tree and immediately a picture of the future product appears in your head. Then the master takes a paper and pencil and from the idea, a sketch appears. The performing sketches is a prerequisite for the development of a successful composition. Typically, the master draws several options, which allows him then to choose the most successful one. Having stopped his choice on one sketch, the artist Carver is working out the details that help him solve a number of compositional questions. If the product is of a high volume, then the sketches are made from different angles and usually on a scale of one to one. At the same time, he researches the way of processing and finishing the future product. The sketch is carefully studied, the symbols of the ancient nomads and Tengrians and the main motifs are often depicted on the master's panel. The master draws using natural colors. It can be paint from the bark of a tree or from an onion husk. The master pays great attention to the preparation of the wood. Collecting and preparing the materials of different breeds, he knows perfectly well where and how to store it, how to dry it in a kind of moisture. He also studies the condition to process the wood. It is undesirable, for example, to cut apart from a newly cut log. It is full of moisture. This can lead to the fact that at the end of the work, the finished work can crack. But after the wood has dried out well, the wizard would sometimes wet its surface to facilitate the initial rough processing. It is better to be processed. It is better to get rid of it and to polish it. For carving, you need to choose clean wood without defects, which can complicate the process and spoil the appearance. It turns out that a huge role in the products of wood is played by its texture. This is a natural pattern which is revealed in the sections of wood. The more beautiful it is, the more valuable the wood. The master selects the required wood beam, measures its diameter, and cuts it onto its discs of correct sizes. Bolat told us that if you guess how to cut and how to process the wood, then you can discover an unprecedented beauty. This is especially possible in the textured pieces. The amazing uniqueness of which is revealed to those who invest their soul and all of their skills. The different types of wood differ in their complexity of processing and are soft, 
such as poplar, adler, pine and cedar, or hard, such as oak, walnut and pear. Most often, the master works with a karogach. The wood of this tree is very durable, wear resistant, flexible, and has a beautiful texture. For different breeds, the master uses various tools. The essence of wood processing has been preserved from the most ancient of times, practically unchanged. A tree is cut with a saw, and its surface is smoothed to the plane, if necessary. And then holes are made with a borer or a chisel. For the final surface treatment, there are a whole set of tools and auxiliary materials. The process of grinding and polishing sometimes takes a lot of time and effort. The wooden disc is cleaned of the bark, and the edge of the disc is peeled off using a grinder. The emery paper then smooths the roughness and emphasizes the detail and increases the pattern of the wood. The tree is transformed. The inner beauty reveals itself. It pleases with its plasticity and ornamentality of the annual rings. The figures of the master's hands are a hypersensitive tool. They are able to touch the bends and roughness of the surface and feel the slightest roughness. On a carefully prepared workpiece, a sketch is transferred with a copy. and uniqueness of the wooden panels arises from the synthesis of metal, stone, and other natural materials. To create an outline of patterns and ornaments, the master uses metal strips of copper. He cuts them, sharpens the edges with the machine. and using a small hammer, the master drives the metal into the tree, bending it and making the desired shape. This is all according to the sketch. The expressiveness of his work will depend on how competently the artist carver will solve the composition problems, arrange the figures, distribute the details, and identify the main ones, and outline the secondary elements as well. Here, the master must necessarily possess spatial imagination. The unity of the panel depends on the harmoniously built composition. It also requires the integrity of the constituent elements relative to each other and as a whole. This is called artistic generalization. The generalized image is supplemented with such details that can enhance the expressiveness, maximally revealing it. If the master succeeds, then a work of art is born. Bolat Atomkulov resorts to various means of enhancing the expressiveness of the future panel. These include texture, contrast, and of course, color. Often the natural color of the wood is preserved, but sometimes it is toned. If it will work on the creative image, strengthened or softened, to emphasize or on the contrary, smooth out some details. He always uses only natural prints.
To emphasize some details, the master paints a fine thread on the tree and covers the wood with necessary paint. Choosing a natural stone for the composition, for example malachite, it crushes to form a homogeneous fine crumb. The materials that make up the stone sparkle in the rays of light, giving the ornaments a natural spark, but at the same time a very natural look. To give a gold or silver shine, the master uses the smallest shavings of metal, mixing it with glue epoxy. The master mixes the stone with resin, applying it to the panel. Such a composition is maintained for some time for solidifying. The superfluous weight of a material is then cut off and the plastic form is created. Large and small details are cut out and the ornament is finished. Since ancient times, folk masters have created beautiful ornaments of their products. At the same time, they use all the possibilities of their time. If the product alternating repeats at least three elements, then a rhythm arises. Of the two identical alterations, symmetry forms. A certain rhythm brings clarity, harmony, and organization to the composition. It is the ornament that pleases the eye with its decorative features. Great attention is paid to the other products of the master as well. Interesting pendant amulets developed in the individual and easily recognizable style. It is considered that pendants are women's adornments, but the master makes jewelry not only for women, but also for men. Since ancient times, men have also worn less jewelry and charms than women. But in spite of that fact, the masters have created special jewelry for men. On the man's native amulet, there is depicted a symbol of the god Tengri and the goddess Umai, as well as animals and birds. Men constantly fought, so for them, talismans were important. They protected the men from wounds and helped in gaining victory in battles. To create such a pendant charm, the master uses a metal plate of copper. With the help of a blowtorch, he heats it up and the metal softens. The metal is immersed in cool water and the plate is leveled with a special hammer. A blank of the desired circle is produced. The prepared sketch is transferred by the master to the metal. The plate is fixed using the technique of coining. The master knocks out the desired pattern on the metal. The surface of the future product is carefully cleaned. The master grinds and aligns the edges, and he cuts off the excess parts and sands them down. To impart texture to the product, the master heats the metal again, and its surface darkens. After the subsequent grinding, the product becomes textured, and the drawing is very expressive. The required parts and components are soldered to the pendant. The convexity and the resulting relief gives the product a necessary bulk. The finished product is polished and encrusted with natural stone. A special fastening and a string is attached. The master's fantasy is truly unlimited, which makes each product authentic and original.